Hello, in this video, we are going to discuss the negative integers and zeros. So negative integers and zero. So this is a set and it's basically the set containing these elements. So negative one, negative two, negative three, and so on, and zero. Um, you could also write it like this. It would be something like this, a, a dot, 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 negative three, negative two, negative one, zero. This is typically how you would see it. So this is the set of negative integers and zero, okay? And so where did this come from? So consider the following equation. Consider the equation x plus b equals a, where a and b are natural numbers. These are elements, right? They belong to the set of natural numbers. So if we solve this for x, right, if we want to find solutions to this equation, we would subtract b from both sides. And so we end up with x equals a minus b. Now we know that uh, this is not necessarily a natural number, right? For example, um, if a is a uh, three and b is, let's say, five, then you would get x equals three minus five, which is negative two. That is not in the not in the set of natural numbers. So it is not, is not an element in that set. So what do we do? Well, we create this new set that allows for negative numbers and zero. And that's where these numbers came from. And that, that is the motivation for uh, these numbers. This operation is called subtraction, right? It's the inverse of addition. So now, um, yeah. That's it. That's the negative numbers and zero. Take care.